Hey everybody, it's Reborn8 here from Extreme PC Game Systems with another exclusive review. This time I will be reviewing the Lycosa gaming keyboard by Razer that features non-slip rubber keys, backlight illumination, and macro programmable keys. For those of you that have seen my other review on the Razer Arctosa, this keyboard is similar, but it has a lot more functions than the Arctosa. Gonna get to the unboxing now. Opening up the box here, we have a message from the Razer guy. Um, the logo here, um, for gamers, by gamers. And here we have the pamphlet that would probably contain the drivers and other pamphlets so in here stickers the certificate of authenticity the Lycosa quick start guide the master guide with the drivers but you would most likely just probably want to download the current drivers from the Razer site to make sure they are current and here is a product catalog for Razer. One of the things that's different with the packaging of the Razer Lycosa is, or the manuals you may say, is the master guide. On the Arctosa, there was no master guide. Pretty much everything was in the quick start guide itself. With the Lycosa, we have a master guide that probably in the end gives you um, more information on setting macros and everything else um, because it, the keyboard itself has more functions than the Arctosa but we'll um, look at that later and more of the unboxing And here is the keyboard itself. Um, one thing to note, the keys are kind of rubberized, so they have a nice grip to them. Over here you have a control panel. Um, the logo there is for your presets for um, the programs or different profiles and for your media player or your Winamp controlling play, um, volume, things like that. The wrist guard down here, which is removable. And one of the things to note here is on the back of the Lycosa, you do have inputs here for your microphone, speakers, and a external USB port right here. But um, just to go over the look of the keyboard itself, And remember, this does have backlighting on it, so I'll show that to you after I hook it up. But just going over the um, what it looks like itself, very slim design. And you can change the height of the keyboard, the angle of it, with these adjustable foot pads in the back. Just going to give you another view here of the um, slimness of this keyboard compared to my hand. Very slim and sleek design. And if you wanted to take off the wrist guard here, that would even make the... Um, the length of it shorter so depending on the type of uh, desk you're putting on maybe you don't have the space for the wrist guard or you don't want it there and these here are the connectors on the back of the keyboard now I'm going to hook up the keyboard and show you some video of what it looks like with the backlighting on and this here is video of the keyboard hooked up um, before the computer is turned on next to the Razer Mamba and the touch panel as I was saying before here it is all lit up so you can easily see the different um, parts that you would need to touch to control media and to press the Razer logo for adjusting profiles or putting the keyboard into game mode and I also wanted to bring up that the gaming cluster the keys the WASD keys and the keys around those um, have anti-ghosting capability 
and well with the non-slip hyper response surface as well and this keyboard does have 1000 hertz or one millisecond um, response time this here is a view of the keyboard illuminated and mind you it is 156 um, p.m. so this is during the day so as you can see the keyboard um, does light up very well even during the day for you to be able to see those keys um, one of the reasons I like this keyboard over the Arctosa is that it does have the ability to illuminate the keys and I do a lot of night playing and it's nice to be able to have the WASD keys though I really don't know it because I know where those keys are pretty much from memory but it does kind of help to have the rest of the keyboard lit up for if I have to press other keys and on keys that aren't illuminated um, unless you know by memory where those keys are which I don't know where all my other keys are especially when it comes to macros it's nice to be able to to see and be able to hit that macro when need be when when in a game. Here we have the Razer Lycosa driver control um, just to go over some of the functions here. Up here you have light options you can either set the keyboard to have the lights on, lights off, or just the WASD um, keys lit up. Right here this controls how the touchpad um, controls media. You can have it open Windows Media Player, iTunes, Real Player, or Winamp. And as you can see, you have a full representation of the keyboard here. For profiles, are right here the different profiles you can set. Over here, if you click any one of these keys, you can set up a macro. So, say if I wanted to set up a macro for the 7 key on the numpad. Um, the macro function drops down and I can record the macro stop and insert delays um, this talks about the behavior of the macro if it's one time or if it repeats while it pressed or repeats until next key is pressed um, you can also set a macro for basic Windows commands and additional commands for Windows and you can set a key to launch a program if you so desire and you can also change the profile of the keyboard from the driver control. One of the things I like to bring up is the touchpad on the Lycosa is actually a touchpad. You really don't have to push anything down. You don't feel any indention like you do on the Arctosa. So that's very nice. Um, you talk about wear on components. Having nothing that's actually um, metal to metal, you're going to have less wear probably is going to last longer so that is a nice feature. To put this keyboard here into game mode um, what that does is it disables the Windows keys. It's nothing like being in a game and all of a sudden you hit the Windows key by mistake and you get knocked out of the game. By the time you get back to the game you're usually dead and if you're in a big raid or something like that that can be really annoying for the rest of your group. So you put it into game mode by pushing the or holding your hand um, over the Razer logo and pushing either the left or right Windows logo and that will disable it. To take it out of it and put it back into normal mode you would just do it again to activate it again or deactivate gaming mode. This driver version here is 2.04 with firmware version um, 2.02. Well that pretty much does it for this review of the Razer Lycosa. Um, go to the website www.extremepcgamesystems.com In about a week and I will have a written review of this keyboard after I get some time to play with it in game. Um, get some time with it in the dark. See how I like it. See how I like the feel of it. But um, right now it's looking very promising. But like I said, I'm going to have to use the keyboard some in game and out of game and see how I like it overall and I will have that review on the website again thanks for watching and as always game on and right here is the light lightning um, lightning great lightning it's the lightning key you push it and it strikes lightning down upon your opponents um, just kind of curious, I wonder if anybody's ever gotten a Razer product without the certificate of authenticity. Um, and what did you do? Did you take it back to them and say, hey, this is not authentic? It's a knockoff. It's a knockoff. It's a knockoff.